What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to remind you what happened last time, uh, we are still pushing up through the Middle East. And what I've decided to do is take my armies in France and be a bit more offensive and not be quite so laid back about the, uh, the Austrian devils that have been sat here raiding my belongings to the west. So I may as well start or maintain or keep rather building armies in the west and in the west of Europe. I might be able to join up my front line here as well at Brussels. But anyway, no, I digress. We are taking the army of Bertram Molnia and we're going to attack this army that's got Graf von Dorn. Wilfred Philip Graf von Dorn by the looks of it. And we're going to destroy his forces and he has got a bucket load of cavalry so he must be ready to form many many squares. So without further ado, let's crack on and destroy them. So I am broadly happy with the direction this campaign is taking. Obviously I do need to spend most of my effort in the east to make sure I am still pushing up and I am still uh, bringing the war to the Mediterranean with great haste so that I can deploy some of these armies in a bit of a more um, useful position. Okay. So this battery is going to trundle up to about here. You are probably going to trundle up from about here. Maybe I think that's three units roughly from there. Three units gives them some wiggle room. Oh, well, to be honest, there is this weird. There is this. Right, okay. Let's put two on this side, two mercenaries on this side. We'll push the guns left a bit. Just so we can get some actual cover. We'll, we, we can get some troops deployed with our backs up against this feature here. Two fusiliers, a marines, and a chasseur up yet. Get out there. Don't want to pick up the chasseur yet because they want them on the flank, not near the guns. And this chap there. Deploy the howitzers behind the lines somewhere nice and safe. Deploy my cavalry a bit behind the lines rather than all the way out on the flank because I would like to have them in a position to uh, provide some gunnery support. Come on. The quick climb is going in, which is brilliant. I want to trundle my guns a bit further up to get uh, a bit of a better line of sight. It's not a waste of time firing it. Their artillery anymore, but focus on their cavalry. Cavalry is the big threat. And let's let the uh, my heavy horse artillery pound them for a while. Excellent, because they're so clustered together. Ooh, how much is on the left? Drop, drop shots right there. They may begin to slowly creep this flank forward. So let's get my cavalry out there near my light infantry. Let's 
Deploy everyone into square. My light infantry will have a shot at trying to down some dragoons. No, they've routed, they couldn't stand it. It looks like... Okay, it looks like we've triggered the charge, so let's get my... Light infantry out of the way. You guys focus on that regiment there. Get you guys out of square. Come on, knock out the Cassier guards so you can go and hit the Wimbush Jäger because they are opening fire on my cavalry. Good, go get him. go. New men stop firing. Form the line again. Okay. Provincial Cavalry is trying to get in. Yeah! We've chased away many units of heavy cavalry, so I don't think your provincials have a lot of hope. You guys hit the dragoons, bring in my heavy cavalry around the flank again. My light infantry over on the flanks, try to hit the Hungarian Hussars. Quick line. No, don't worry about them. Then my heavies deal with the cavalry. You men attack the routing troops. You guys fire a volley into those Hungarian hussars. That will probably see them off. Excellent quick climb hit there on the 12th Regiment of Foot. That's the Dragoons cleared out. Switch our howitzers to round shot to hit the Freikorps to make sure we don't kill our own cavalry. Hey, what are they doing charging my light infantry? Scamps. So let's go after the heavy horse artillery. That's always a good thing to kill. New men destroy the 12th regiment. You guys bombard this artillery unit here. Gunners have been killed. You guys go for the howitzers. Push up our infantry. You guys kill the 12th regiment. Stop our howitzers from firing because they're trying to hit the general as well. 
Let's continue. You guys go after them. You guys go after them. Speed up time. If you guys can knock out that line infantry unit, that'd be great, because I've got some gunners here for you to kill. go after that militia unit. The Hussars go after the rocket troop. Stop my artillery from firing. Ah, they're trundling their rockets away, that's why they're taking so long. More's the pity. There we go, and this unit of Freikorps is being consumed. Your farmyard carts will not save you now. There we go. And we've knocked them out. So where are you going to route to? 200 men left. Okay, they're routing all the way out towards Brest, so you men replenish and you will continue to chase them down. Okay, so you need to get... you're going to get two units of Curacier. Get a global trading company. You're going to chase down this Austrian force and then you might spread south. Yes, sir. Feeling more comfortable about holding this bridgehead? Much more comfortable. Brandenburg's holding. Siege works. Yeah, you guys definitely need to replenish. As to you, you have the potential to do something, but I'd rather you be there as an emergency force, just in case something should happen. Just crew a sloop to occupy that port there, but let's get back to the Middle East. Yeah, so the Ottomans are on the way. Yes. But, <laughs> yeah. yes. Uh, the Ottomans are on their way. But we're one so. turn away from fortifications, which is great. At the ready. We're recruiting another force here out of Esfahan. To be honest, that might mean that my proper force can be pulled out and sent north. But then again, we do. Then again, we do have lots of armies on their way. So let's send two heading north. Let's send a handful. Let's send three three north and then another one. One more can march up and meet at Baghdad. So the roads are top quality. Your orders. My spies are moving up. Your orders, your Majesty. Got Theodore Mirabeau. Chasing down these scallywags. Got another army behind them. As well as this force here that's chasing down those Persians. Jorge de Seconda. Okay, so we are actually building up. Yes. Well, we've got for units for more <laughs> units for another army. So this navy. Go down to Mangalore. Ships orders. I want to build. So I've got a bunch of first rates. So let's build some seconds and some thirds. Because I want to build. I want to build a fleet so that when I take one of these, when I take a like Damascus or Jerusalem, I can then start to base a fleet inside the Med itself that's not based in France. I probably try and do some repairs. How's our tech going? Pretty good. Keep upgrading our economy wherever upgrades may lay.
ultimately we are going to find ourselves um, <laughs> in a position where we just don't need don't need any any more economy. But yeah, may, you may as well upgrade it and get it done. I mean, Britain, yeah, Britain can sit there saying, "Oh, but we're at war." I do not care. So much so, there's an army right here. So let us assault the capital of Yalgava. And I've probably forgotten to do this for a, a while, actually, <laughs> because of uh, so much stuff going on. But yeah, let's go and knock out Britain from the game. Now this little garrison at Yalgava is going to have a lot of, uh, a lot of Swedish troops trying to kill them. That's the thing to bear in mind. And actually, that's probably a good reason to try and knock out the Austrians a bit quicker than I am doing so because the Sweden could uh, Sweden could betray me at the drop of a hat but that's part of the reason why another well, another reason why I'd like to try and push through the Middle East a bit quick because we can open up that uh, Caucasus front there we go so then Chasseur to line go straight in my guards and most of my actual infantry. Wonder if hmm. Yes. Very I oh know only Okay, it has to be foot very far forward. Risky when it comes to artillery fire. Ris very risky when it comes to artillery fire, but I think that's going to be okay. Okay, you guys fire quick climb, you get a free shot. So, the first thing to do is make sure I'm. Okay, you. You drop some rounds in the center. Ah, misfire. But I'd like to knock out those pikes but those pikemen. We've got some mortars, that's a bit of a concern, but so what, once I've begun my assault, I can deal with the mortars quick enough. They are firing back at us. They've knocked out one of my guns, but not the guns that will stop us from getting to the fort, for sure. Okay, you hit them, you hit the centre. Start to clear them out in the good old fashion. Yeah, this is a fairly run-of-the-mill engagement. Here comes quick climb, either on the militia or in the centre. In the centre, some are on the militia now, as well as the garrison guards. Destructive. Very destructive. Okay, so it's the unit on the that unit that's attacking here. Aim at the Swiss guards, you guys aim at the garrison line. Field artillery fired off another another volley. Let's speed up time. You need a militia on that flank. They're doing more damage. Let's just keep one dropping stuff on the center. Let's see if we can crack open this breach. Because you firing from this side as well. 
Nope, they're not firing their guns. I mean, they lost a second gun team. Oh no, they lost a trailing team, but not a gun team. Let's knock a hole in this wall, and then we can watch them uh, form their defences up near the gate, or near the near the breach. Excellent hit, sir. General's bodyguard is wavering. One more shot and we'll be in. And hopefully that will be the last. There we go. Okay, so... Attack the garrison militia. To be honest, now might be the time we push. Chiefly because we have a significant quicklime, as well as a qual massive qualitative advantage. So... Let's run our support units in. In fact, that probably means we have to spend some time well, you guys keep dropping shells in the breach. We might result in a few dead men, but now they're pushing up. Wait until the artillery's... The, wait until the howitzers are firing, or have fired. Wait. Go. So devastating. I mean, they should aim for those units, but... They are... I mean, this, this unit here is the bigger, thre bigger threat, significantly. Let's mainly focus on... Mainly focus on getting in. There's carcass shot being deployed. That's going to cause some damage. Or maybe not. Hugo's making pew pew. No. Proper noises. Good. But if we keep picking them down near the breach, like I said, is my... That should have been an excellent hit. All of those are, to be honest. <laughs> are you guys firing? Sort of. Let's fire just out front. just behind. Some of them. That was a good hit. So I want them to get on the walls and then run straight over to that position over the gate. Get our quick line working on some of the other units. These men are yeomanry.
There we go, we've captured this gatehouse as well. Get the quick climb to both focus on. That, this militia unit, I could maybe rush my uh, troops in. run my I've got to run my tercio guardsmen in against the not, not my tercio guardsmen I've got to run my line infantry in against the the pikes and then get my garrison guards somewhere a bit further out on the flank both you guys just sit there and sit there in square formation just run in and form square their numbers were going down. I mean, they are winning slightly. So they're doing a real number on this, this regiment of foot. So you guys just form square, knock out the yeomanry. These men avoid that combat. Charge straight in. You guys should beat the Omenry. God, these guys are, have been cut to ribbons by those Swiss pikes. charge those troops there. These Grenadier Guards are more than enough to deal with this enemy. You guys just form up, run through the gate. You just keep these guys in the square and let the yeomanry fall upon our spears. Our pikes rather, our buskets rather. So these pikemen, they've done a great job. men position up to shoot at those yeomanry there. You guys get over here. There's only a handful of pikemen left. There we go, most of the garrison. I think that's all the garrison now is broken. You guys stop firing, lest you kill my Grenadier Guards. But there we go. Oof. So we're going to want to replenish this army. Pretty ricky tick. Britain has been destroyed. The Royal Palace is ours. Let us replenish our garrison. And let us not yeah, let's upgrade some stuff. And... Let's potentially build up an arm. Let's build up some... Fourth rate. It's going to start to blockade Swedish ports. Or be able to blockade Swedish ports. You're not in a terrible position to just attack Brussels, really. We'll get a full garrison plus some reinforcements, but the reinforcements aren't massive. I'd like to get this army rebuilt, or built up more, plus get that spy into northern Italy. 
but the main focus is on beating these Ottoman attacks, which I think we've definitely got an excellent shot at doing. Let's hit N10. Let whatever units that can move, move. I think we're slowly bleeding Austria dry. Naturally, uh, they start to push up against Paris. Ooh, I mean that's despite what the what the <laughs> balance of power says, that's got to be an auto resolve, right? Glorious I thought so. <laughs> I mean, it's taking a city, but it was a nothing army. Hmm. Sending more of their agents down towards our centres of learning in an, attempt, in, an, in an attempt to steal our tremendous knowledge. So, expect the Ottomans to not want to give up the Middle East very easily. Which makes sense. But now they've not attacked Baghdad, that means we do get our Sweden's declared on me. Very well. You want this to happen, Sweden? We can make this happen. I forgot about your your army. Over on those ships. Just give us a bit of time for the Yelgava garrison to replenish. That's all they want. But it looks like they are doing the same thing. This is exactly the reason why I don't want to reinforce those or rebuild those uh, buildings. Because I just knew. Ooh. Big Azerbaijani defense. So it looks like this army is not going to be able to push onto uh, Azerbaijan for a while. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for another Persian defensive battle. Cheers, everyone.